so um, I just finished filming this video and I realized it was crazy, crazy long so I'm hoping I won't have to redo it. And I can't edit so on the iPad and I explained it in these other videos that I was filming on my phone but it doesn't have enough space. I don't have my camera right now and so I'm like getting to it right now or a laptop that I can film on or anything like that. Um, so please just bear with me and never mind as well as the other video I'm putting in the back. Um, so let's just get started because I mumbled so much, not mumbled, rambled so much in the other video. It was crazy, but um, the background is different, yes, and I will do a um, room tour when everything is finished. I painted, I'm not going to get into details right now. But there's things I want to see, show you guys that I'm really happy with, and just kind of like the setup in general. I'm going to be really happy with when it's all ready, and things are a mess right now. We're going to clean it up today, and um, kind of hopefully finish everything up. Now this is my first day of school, and, um, oh, I don't think I'm going to be doing my vacation haul because we really didn't buy much um, on vacation. But my vacation video will be up soon, I just need to get it up. And it's so long, so I'm so sorry. It is 45 minutes long. I am so sorry. It's so hard to cram two hectic weeks into a short video um, with my vlog, pictures. There's just so much. Um, so I'll set that up, but I'm also going to be filming a video just kind of talking about what I did over those two weeks. So maybe, hopefully it'll be shorter, so you can watch that one instead or like you can watch half of the other one and then watch the talking one more um it'll be less pictures just me really talking explain what i did did um to kind of maybe explain more of the pictures and so i'm gonna do that but for now let's get started so i can put my thing out okay let's get started these are two yeah two of three i can't find the third one um sets from Bath and Body Works that I loved during August. Did I say what day I'm doing? I'm doing August right here. Um, there's Caribbean Escape, which is my absolute favorite of the three, and Paradise Daiquiri, which is kind of like a mild smell like this one. This one, I cannot explain what it smells like. I am so sorry. I forgot the scents. Um, I burned it quite a bit. It's like tropical, but warm tropical it's not like citrus tropical where you feel like you couldn't use it in other months um other than like summer um this i would say i'll burn it in the fall i'm burning it now um summer is pretty much over and it still makes your room just feel nice and warm and kind of cozy uh but in the summer it kind of adapted to that like tropical smell so i feel like it's like a season adapting um, and it was twelve fifty, and then I got two little ones for like two for five or something. And I don't know what the other one is, but it's a blue one. And they smell amazing. Next, stick with the candle thing. I loved my fencing, and I think I talked about it in the video before, but I'll quickly just go over the scents I have. Um, there's Yuzi Dragon, which would be my favorite of the favorite of the favorites, um, for obvious reasons, because this is the one I burned the most, and it's just very fruity. It's fruity and fresh smelling. Then for fall, which I've started burning because I've decided I want fall to start now, so I'm kind of going into my fall mode, um, is baked apple pie. It smells just like apple cider and apple pie. Then Are You Into Me? Um, didn't get a chance to burn this one, but this is definitely a summery scent, or like a bathroom scent. It's kind of like bathroom toilet cleaner. Okay, that sounds gross, but it smells good. It's like fresh, clean bathroom good. Then sticky cinnamon bun, which smells very similar to baked apple pie, but a little more cinnamon bunny, which makes sense since it's cinnamon bun. Woo! But if you smell the two, you will get the hint of like the cinnamon, kind of apple fall scent. But this one smells more like a cinnamon bun. And the other one smells more like apple pie. Because there are 
are, there is like a difference, so you can tell the difference. I'm sorry if I'm rushing through, I just don't want to make a huge long video like I did last time. Then I have blueberry cheesecake, which smells like blueberry muffins. Make a little less of a muffin sound, more blueberry, but it is so amazing. It's going to be so perfect for fall. Oh, and peach almond, which, um, this I feel like could also be in all seasons. Um, it's like a fruity air freshener. Um, you know that, I don't know what bath, I don't know what company it's called, but they like have like an orange changing like body lotion thing. That's what it's called. Like, like the exact one. Next is makeup. And it is Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse Airbrush Finish Light Clean Light. I was saying finish. Um, light and I'm in Classic Ivory. It's a little not quite my color, but it's good enough. Um, if I do a foundation routine using this, I will give you my little story about it. Um, why does it smell? It smells like paint. I really like the smell of paint. Okay, not like paint. Um, never mind. Um, I hated it at first, love it now. It's amazing. So, check it out. And also let me know if you want to see, uh, like, updated foundation routine. So, that's that. Then, here are things. Sorry if I'm all over the place. Um, actually, let's go to makeup. Um, this is Mineralize, Max Mineralize Skin Finish in Redhead. So it's a highlight. Um, highlight Redhead. And when I first saw it, I didn't really know what makeup was. Like, I knew what makeup was. Um, I didn't know, like, the different, like, things of makeup, like, highlights and stuff like that. Kind of to me, like, the basics. Um, but this is such a gorgeous highlight. I use it every day now. And it's so pretty. It's such a pretty shimmer color. And it's such a gorgeous highlight. Oh my god. Then, concealer, which is also a drugstore now. Um, for a while I was using my Makeup Forever HD foundation and then MAC concealer, but I realized that my latest one has been working better for my skin now um because my skin hasn't really been that bad so yeah um it's match perfection skin tone adapting concealer by rimmel and it's two in one concealer and highlighter and i got it in ivory my mom picked it up excuse my nails they're disgusting right now um they're all dirty from like being on the bus and trash but um it's just i'm like one or two uses left with this, so if I'm going to film a foundation routine, I'm going to have to do it soon before I run out, or I'll go pick up a new one soon. Um, it's so amazing. It covers red like no other concealer. I'm not joking you. Um, that's my opinion, obviously. It works on my skin amazingly. It's so amazing. I don't know why I just stopped using it. Then, is that right? I got this Revlon lipstick. It's the Super Lustrous Lipstick in Sky Pink. And it's matte, obviously. And it's just such a pretty Barbie pink color. And my other one's Stormy Pink, which I got at the same time, which I'm sure I've shown you guys before these two colors. Um, I lost. <laughs> my, 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 I didn't lose it. My sister broke it. But, so I need a new one. But I've been wearing this a lot. It's just such a pretty pink. It's like bright enough to be like bright, but still, if you're not wanting a super crazy out there bright like the Viva Glam Lip Mousse. So it's like pale enough if you're trying not to go crazy, but bright enough if you want a little bit of pow in your look. Then I got these fall in Vegas, and I, no, that's a lie. I'm sorry. Um, fall and spring. I was on the island. We went to Farm's Bay, and I saw these. I don't really have places that sell mix for me, so I was so excited. And it's the just lipstick. I don't know. Um, it's kind of like a nude brown. It looks kind of dark. Um, I wore it today. It came off though. I know 
with a veil. That pony looks so calm. Oh. But anyways, it's such a pretty brown, and I thought it would be too dark for my skin, and right now it looks too dark because of the lighting we're all with. Um, but this is really nice. I love the texture of it. It's creamy. It's really, really good. It looks so bad right now. The way the lighting is and stuff. Then I have my little Urban Decay Lip Junkie um, that I got with the Maple 2. And it's a nude lid. And I love the fact that it does cool your lips. Um, gives you that tingly feeling, which obviously comes with plump. And I did not think I was going to like this color, but I love it. Especially with my lip butter, Revlon lip butter and cupcake. They look so good together. I love them. Then a random hair thing. Um, Y2 Calm, we've had this for years, just started using it, and I love it. Makes, I don't know, I just, I feel like my hair isn't as, like, ripped out when I use it. Next is the Macadamia, um, Deep Repair Mask. Everybody's talked about this, so there's not much I can add. It's just amazing, and I'm out. I have, like, that won't even do, like, a quarter of my hair. Uh, but I mix it in with my other conditioner, and it's good to go. Love it. It's expensive, but worth it. Next for a hair thing is this um, curl, curling one. Um, Triple Barrel Curler by Isimis? Isimis? I don't know. It sucks. Um, it, I got this from the Dorothy of Christmas. I can't remember which one. But they're about, um, they're like a month apart, so one of the two. It's almost a year now, and I love it. I really, really love it. I love the way it looks, especially after you've slept on it. They're just so pretty, and I maybe want to do a tutorial with this, so if you guys would like that, let me know. Then, really random box. Um, these are clips that I got from Sally's, and I got these double palm clips. And these jumble roller um, bobby pins for pin curling. And I only have to try pin curling. I find it enjoyable to do. I don't really like the result on myself just because I have such, I already have so much hair. It might not look like it, but I do. Um, I don't like frizzy hair, so the look is kind of a little too much for me. But other than that, I love it. So those are really nice for pin curling and just pulling my hair out of my face like I did just now. Love it. Then I went through these little things here. Um, this Cravana Serum Shine Hydrating Mist. You can only get this from like those like places that only professionals can go into and your hairdresser if your hairdresser sells it. <coughs> Which is how I get it. Um, I'm not a fan of the smell. It smells like it's stunk. And then you like added something to not make it stink, and it was made worse, like porta potty. Like when porta potty stinks, it does like added bad air freshener, and it just makes it smell a thousand times worse. That's how I feel about this. Um, but I do love it for the shine. It does give a bit of a hold, and if you put too much, it will become crunchy. Um, so watch out for that. But it really does make your hair shiny. I don't know if it makes my hair still feel like the cream but shiny for sure. Love it. Next are these. I got these in Vegas and they were five dollars each. Five dollars. I got two for cheaper than I could get one in Canada. And I got them at Target. And they're the John Frieda Billy and Brunette shampoo and conditioner. Um, I'm not going to go into them too much because I was thinking of doing a hair care routine. Um, but they really do bring out the brown, like different tones in my hair. Um, really shiny, soft, really amazing. Downfall to these is I feel like they run out really, really fast. I've had them for less than a month, and I already feel like I'm going to need to repurchase them soon. Um, I don't feel like I use any more than I would normally, so I don't know if it's just them or if I'm using more than I'm used to or what. Um, that's just how I feel, but I love these and they smell delicious. Sucks they don't keep the smell because it's last. And you can't 